guys and welcome back to the second part of this huge H&M spring summer haul slash 10 outfits for spring and summer. So like I mentioned in the last video, if you haven't watched part one, pop and watch part one and then come back and watch part two. Um, a lot of the pieces that I've shared with you, this being one of the ones from the last video, um, can be styled in a lot of different ways and a lot of the wardrobe that I've put together for this video can all be like restyled within each other as well. So you can get so many outfits out of so many of the pieces um, that I have found. So hopefully if you enjoyed part one, you're here for part two, let's get straight into it. So if you aren't already following me over on Instagram, I'm at Katie Victoria Helen. I share daily outfit info over there. Um, and I'll also be sharing a lot of ways how to style these pieces in lots of different ways, which I always think is so useful when you've got a new item, sometimes you don't know how to style it. Um, just finding lots of different ways or lots of different occasions where you can dress up, dress down, um, different pieces. I love to get m as much as possible out of my wardrobe. Um, I like to actually have less things that I can make more outfits with. So hopefully that's exactly what I'll teach you how to do in today's video. If you're excited for today's video, hit that thumbs up and let's get into it. Also, make sure you're subscribed with the alarm bell button on not to miss any future videos. Okay, so in the last video, I also shared a lot of, um, a lot of, a few pairs of shoes that I thought would go with a lot of these outfits. I have also got one pair that I haven't shared with you yet, which I'm so unsure of. They're so like, is it a yes? Is it a no? Is it absolutely what the hell are you thinking? And I can't wait to share them with you. So you will see them later on. But I think if you do like them, they would also go with a lot of the outfits, which is very, yeah, I just don't know. We'll see. As you guys will probably know, neutral outfits are super, super in right now. They're a really lovely way to bring a little bit more color into the wardrobe, um, getting away from the darker tones, I guess, from winter and getting more into spring with a slightly lighter color palette. So on that theme I picked up a really lovely like neutral outfit that I just think you guys are gonna love this is a really oversized chunky cardi it's absolutely gorgeous it's quite heavy in weight it's really soft and it's like one of those lovely like stretchy soft or oh, like materials that you just want to cozy up in although saying that this jumper is like the softest jumper I think I've ever worn ever um <laughs> also if you love anything everything will be linked down below in the description box for you um, this is a medium, so I think if you don't want it to be as oversized as it is, um, then consider sizing down in that one. Just for reference, I'm UK size 12 and I'm five foot nine. And then I've paired that with these really lovely like tapered, but also like more casual comfy um, trousers. So they're kind of like a tailored trouser, but the, the material of them is super soft. So it's a lot more of like a casual look and it can be easily styled in so many different ways for a more casual look. However, you could definitely dress them up in the usual ways you'd imagine how to wear these trousers so for more businessy, obviously looks. However, these would look great paired with um, these trainers that I did share in the first video. I've also got a really gorgeous pair of um, like a van trainers that I've been living in. And these would look great with, you know, just a black cami or a black roll neck jumper and these super super casual easy to wear if you wanted to smarten it up a bit you could pop a blazer over the top and change the heel uh, change the shoes to a heel so going to be really really versatile just lovely to wear however the look that I thought these would go most with is like this and then um, however for today's video I just styled them with this cream jumper as more of like a casual cozy day look um, and probably would pair them with the espadrille um, trainers from H&M that I shared with you and then also in the last video, there was a really cute white cami. That's what I would wear underneath that. It's a perfect staple piece and it's just going to be like your go-to cami, I think, for... I always have like two or three camis, like a white, a beige and a black that I literally live in for like the whole of spring, summer. <laughs> and I think that one is going to be one of them. Okay, next, like I mentioned, I know there's a lot of bright colours in at the minute, but I always stick by my neutral, um, more muted tones, and I love pastels for spring. I am, like I mentioned at the start, or I might have mentioned in the last video, trying to experiment a little bit more with brighter colours, but I think pastels you just know will come in every single year. Um, so, in that, with that in mind, I saw this lovely lilac, it's probably one of my favourite pastels, um, I saw this gorgeous little lilac cardi. Now I actually have this in cream from H&M, which I bought in Mexico. Well, it's like a beige actually. Um, and, and I love it. And I just thought, I saw it in this color and I thought, wow, like perfect spring piece to add to the wardrobe. 
Now, this is so sweet, it can be worn with like jeans. I love pastels with a white jean, but obviously easily worn with any of the mom jeans that I showed you in the previous video. Um, could even be styled with those last tra uh, pair of trousers that we had. Actually, I think that would look kind of cute. Might have to try it. Um, but yeah, actually mo much more versatile than you probably would imagine it being. Also would look lovely with like a nice midi skirt. Um, maybe like a florally one or yeah, like a florally um, also, I think it would be lovely style with this white midi skirt. Now, white for skirts is quite often quite hard to find like a decent one. But I think because this is quite thick, I actually think it's going to be pretty good. I also found the best seam-free knickers ever. If you guys have a TK Maxx, I think that's what it's called here. But maybe if you're US, it's, I think it's called TJ Maxx. Um, and they have the best seam-free knickers. I have to find out the name. Hang on. The brand name of the pants is called this. So I'm just going to share it with you here. Um, Adrienne Vitaldali. But these are the best seam-free pants I've found. They do them in thong and also like full pant, which is great um, for, I bought a pack of both because they come out, I think, with like five each. Honestly, you can just throw all the other pants away because they're also comfy and they're seam-free and they're just lush. I love them. Um, so I highly recommend to get those if you have a TK Maxx. Um, and yeah, I just popped them under the skirt and look great. Um, has this got a split? Yes, it's got a lovely side leg split, which I think is lovely because if you've ever tried to walk in a midi or a maxi skirt, you'll know if it doesn't have a split in, it's kind of like a, you look like a penguin waddling. Um, so I think that's a really lovely outfit to pop together. You could easily wear it with some trainers for more of a casual look or dress it up with some sandals or some heels even more of like a like a lovely little date night look, um, popping out for, with the girls for the evening, that kind of thing. But like the lighting in this room isn't great, but the sun is out and I'm not gonna shout about it. So if it's a little bit off color tone, I do apologize. I feel like it looks a little bit strange. It should be on auto focus, but on auto amend, but so it's clearly not going right there because it, I just look very orange. <laughs> I'm also getting my hair done tomorrow, so I'm thinking maybe it is more orange than I realize. <laughs> Anywho, let's get on with the haul. For those of you that were in suspense about these shoes, I'm still undecided how I feel about them. They're kind of like a sailing boat knot. I half absolutely love them, but like, come up on camera, they look amazing. They look gorgeous. And I definitely have seen many a shoe styled like this and thought, wow, where did they get them from on Instagram? So many times. But in real life, I don't know if these are a size eight, I'm not being funny, they literally look gigantic. Like, they're absolutely huge. Look, they're bigger than my head. They're huge. Not in the sense of like, they're massive on my feet, because they're actually not, but they do actually fit really nicely. Um, I, I'll do a close up. Um, however, I do really like them on. Like when they came and I opened them at the pack, I thought, what on earth are they? Just because of the sheer size of them. <laughs> but I love them on. So let me know if you're undecided or what your thoughts are on these. Are they absolutely disgusting or are they a little bit dreamy? Um, I can totally see them with like a nice, um, one of those like sheer white dresses. Um, I'll have to put a picture here. And I just think it would look great with one of them. Or I think it would also look great with this lovely brown midi. Midi? I have to just check. Be maxi. Midi. Midi dress. Um, again, I got this in a medium. It is quite wide on the waist, as you can see, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I love that it is double lined, but still sheer. Um, I think it's beautiful. This like, what's it called? Creased, crinkled? Pleated, mini pleat. There is a name for this pleat and it is really in right now. Um, I've seen really nice like um, two pieces with shorts and like an open um, like shirt in this crinkle style. I actually really love it. I think however that style might phase out whereas this style of dress won't. So even though the style may fade out this wouldn't because of the classic colour and the classic shape. It's just really gorgeous. And again, in that nice neutral tone palette that we talked about earlier, it says it's made from 100% recycled polyester in the shell and the lining is made from 50% recycled polyester. I don't normally like polyester, but it doesn't feel cheap. But to be honest, it actually feels quite nice. Um, 
and I just think it's a, like a really classic classy dress and like I mentioned earlier I do think it could be worn with those shoes kind of more casual more day nice like straw bag straw hat very like you know I'm off to the south of France cans something like that but also you could definitely wear it in an evening with a heel um, with some really like dainty gold earrings oh it would just like really really classy and really really like timeless and chic and just mm, 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 mm. so yeah very much like that also think that the cream blazer from the last haul will look absolutely fantastic over it and if you're going to dress it down the first cardigan that i shared with you at the start would look really cute over it as well for like more of a day look so i have two more looks to share with you every time i sit down i feel like i've got to pull this down Two more looks to share with you. Um, and like I mentioned, these are gonna be styled a lot more ways over on my Instagram, um, so make sure you are over there. This actual look was inspired by um, a picture of Olivia Rose. I don't know if you guys follow her or not. I really love her style. I think she's so classic, timeless, elegant, just gorgeous, gorgeous style. And yeah, I, I, I do like to use her for inspo if I'm ever lacking any fashion inspo. Um, she has great style. And I just saw her in this gorgeous dark gray blazer. And I don't normally wear dark grey. I think it doesn't. Really, it's not a colour that I really think does much for my complexion. However, I was like, I just need that outfit in my life. So I went. <laughs> I saw Olivia Rose in a in a grey blazer. So I went and bought a grey blazer. Now I'm wearing a grey blazer. If anyone hasn't seen me in girls, you won't get the reference. Um, but so classic so classy size medium a little bit oversized on the fit again i did actually pick up a lovely if you haven't seen the zara hauls yet i've done two zara hauls for spring summer um i'll leave them linked down below as well i picked up a gorgeous pink blazer that actually looks exactly the same shape and style as this this was cheaper though than the zara one and it's like this gorgeous dusky pink oh it's so lovely it's quite boxy but really, really nice, like perfect colour for spring. It's so stunning. Um, so I'd pair that. This is actually from TK Maxx, TJ Maxx. Um, this top, I've been looking for one of these for such a long time. It's actually a bit damp still. <laughs> it takes a while to dry. Um, this is just like a little plain white t-shirt, but however, it's like a ribbed and a little bit more like tight and fitted. And it's got a cute little cap sleeve. And I think it's just a little bit smarter than like an everyday casual white tee. And I think something like this dressed, it can be dressed up so easily. I think it was like 15 pounds, really affordable. Um, and I think in the picture that I'm talking about with this outfit, she had on maybe a faux leather trouser. However, I'm not in need of a faux leather trouser. I have the perfect leather leggings, if anyone needs them. Um, just ask where, where mine are from. It's like a little boutique. So if you want to find a perfect faux leather legging, I know the wrong time of the year, but they kind of are quite classic now. And then I also have like a faux leather jean that I also have from Misguided ages ago that are perfect. So I don't need them. So I didn't want to buy any of them, but I do, however, need a pair of black skinny jeans, which I know are very like not in right now. However, I just think a classic skinny jean is never really seriously going to go out of fashion. It's just a classic piece that you do need for your wardrobe, will be in season again. Um, so I tried to pick up these super stretch ones. They're a size 12. They're full, it says full length, skinny, regular waist. So I haven't actually tried them on yet. They do look like they're going to fit perfect and they do just look like the perfect skinny jean. I think they're in the 20 pound range. So really, really like well priced. Um, and I would pair them with that and then like a little pair of like black strappy barely there heels, which would look gorgeous. I think she styled the look with more like of a Gucci loafer. Um, again, it would look really nice, but for me, I think it would just look elevated a little bit more like a little mini one of those box bags and then um, like a little black heel. And then the final outfit I've got to share with you is just a nice springy, everyday, very casual look. Um, so these jumpers were reduced down to £10. They had them in a few colours. They had them in like a nice light grey. I can't remember what the other colour was, but I just thought this like nice sky blue. It's very similar to the one I'm wearing now, which is a lovely like nice little spring addition to the wardrobe. It's also cropped a little bit as well. So you can wear it with like a nice high-waisted jean, um, regular colour jean or like a nice white jean. This also would look lovely with that white midi skirt that I shared with you a little bit earlier on. Um, and I paired it in this for this video with these jeans. So they're more of like um, a straight leg jean. They're not skinny. Um, they're quite, quite uh, kind of a, a relaxed fit. It says, they're called the 90s baggy jean. And I just think of this really like nice light wash it was really, really lovely. So it's size 12, it says loose fit. Um, I'll let you see in the cutaway how they fit on. And yeah, I just thought that was like a really easy, casual everyday look paired with like a nice 
chunky trainer. Um, I don't normally go for like trainers from um, high street stores so much. I try to go with like a branded trainer because typically they do last longer. Um, but I just really like the tones in these. And also if you'd seen the Zara video, I picked up this gorgeous pair from Zara, but they were £60. I just felt for like a Zara trainer, like without a brand on, that was kind of pricey. However, they had the most gorgeous tones in. They were like orangey and you know like all these bright colors. Oh, they were fantastic. They were like just the nicest shoes. Like I'm still thinking about them, like why I sent them back, but I just couldn't justify £60 from Zara, like for a trainer. When I already have trainers, I didn't really need. So like I was saying earlier, these are just like gorgeous neutral tones. Look at the colors in those. Oh, I love it. I love it. This is like a muted gray-y kind of blue. So it would definitely go with a lot of the things I've shown you in the haul already. It's also got this lovely like dusky pink. There's a dress in the last video that I said you could probably wear to a wedding. I reckon you could actually wear these as a, in a day dress with them. It would just look gorgeous. I can like see it from the corner of my eye. Um, and yeah, they're just like a lovely chunky trainer. They've got like a pink sole. I think they're really, really like just nice. They'll be so versatile. These would also look great um, with like a more of like an athleisure style outfit. So maybe like some joggers or like um, Andola leggings, that kind of style um, with a sweater or a jumper or something like that. You know, just like when you want to wear your workout clothes in the day and still look chic, basically, which is like my favorite kind of look because it's so freaking comfy. Um, so yeah, that is everything. I can't believe I got through everything. No, it's not. There's one more dress that I forgot to share with you. This is beautiful, by the way. So beautiful. God, I can't believe I nearly forgot this dress. It's stunning. It just kind of like, I think I just chucked it in the basket last minute and was like, just saw it and could not put it in. So this is kind of like the 11th thing, 11th outfit. <laughs> but um, it's just so stunning. I couldn't, I couldn't leave it. Um, it's like this, oh, just look how pretty it is. I just can't even, it doesn't have things to hang it up though, which is unfortunate. So it's hanging off, it's like this beautiful frill, chiffon, like just loose maxi dress. It's just bloody gorgeous. It's got this lovely crisscross back. It's got a zip to get you in. I just think it's like the ultimate black timeless dress and again would be worn for every occasion like so easy to dress this down with sandals straw hat straw bag also so easy to dress up with like gorgeous little sandals like like barely their heels um don't think you could probably wear this with trainers but you know if you wanted to try a jumper over it and a trainer so you've just got the black skirt you probably could do so as well um so i think it's going to be a lot more versatile than i thought but i had had to just share that little piece with you as well um, just to finish, because that is, that's the end of the H&M haul, spring, summer, 2022 haul. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like I mentioned at the start, if you haven't seen part one, pop and watch part one now. Make sure you subscribe with the alarm bell button on to see more future videos like this. Um, and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section your favourite outfit idea or favourite outfit that I shared with you today. And if you want daily info daily inspo daily styling inspo then make sure you're following me over on instagram at katie victoria Holland and also on tiktok which i'm occasionally which i am getting better at uh doing now however yeah yeah i'm getting a bit i'm getting there so thank you so much for being here all the links are down below like i mentioned earlier in the description box and i'll see you in the next